So for me, getting into para badminton was the result of a trauma accident, but it wasn't until two years later when we amputated my leg and I was using prosthetics to move around again. Um, and for those whole two years, I did not see a badminton court. I stayed away, all my friends played badminton, my old club, um, my social life, a lot of it. And because I couldn't play at all, I, I was depressed and I didn't want to know about it. I just wanted to leave, but for some reason, as soon as I had my amputation and had my prosthetics, I wanted to give it a go, but I was really nervous. And I must admit, as soon as I was standing on a court, I forgot about my prosthetic leg because you're playing badminton again. So the, sh the racket's in my hand, the shuttle's moving, you just get there somehow. And whatever it is for whatever person that thinks they cannot do something, it's probably just in their heads. I wasn't that young, I was maybe 12 or 13, and um, we had an after-school club um, at school. We had some uh, badminton coaches from a local club. Those coaches invited uh, some, some of the players to join in an after-school club, and then from that club, they picked one or two who they thought would be quite good to train and who had potential, uh, and they invited us to come and train at their club. I wasn't that young, 14 I think, was a bit too old. Uh, very soon after I was disappointed because I'd missed the chance to be good as a junior and play county and further on. But um, So they got me into badminton and um, I'm a total badminton geek now, I love it. Um, I follow all the international games, the pro players, I do some commentary which is really uh, great fun and gets me a chance to meet a lot of players. I'm always at the All England and go to the Denmark Open and, and now I get to travel to Super Series goals and all these things so it's it's great so I just get to see all the professional players play all the time so it's, I'm very lucky. I love the thrill of a competitive match. I'd rather play a very competitive match, long rallies and tough opposition and lose instead of an easy match and win so Parabab is amazing. Yeah, I, I don't know how to, to do it. I think you just have to forget the loss and move on. Try and concentrate on how you win matches instead of worrying about how you've lost a match or how you might lose a match because that fills me with fear and worry that I can't do things. Whereas I think it's good for me to watch games where I've played well and build that momentum again and get that confidence back. I play all sports, I studied sports at university and I've been a keen sports person in so many different things all my life but badminton is so fun. It's got everything, it's got power, speed, endurance, technical ability, skill and so much fun and, um, and so I think just trying to encourage people to give badminton a go as a, as a sport and a Paralympic sport. Um, you know, we need to build the sport and get so many more players, so many more numbers, so many more people competing. Um, and these competitions are incredible. There's some people here that are just here for fun, some people here that are really competitive, and, um, but everybody has such a great nature and it's, and it's such a yeah, competitive environment. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like para badminton, it just feels like badminton, if I'm honest. The fact that some people are in wheelchairs and some are short stature and some are using prosthetics, when you're on a badminton court, it's, it's just you and your friends and it's, um, it's amazing. So.